let's say, the door and the side skirt of the car. So what I'm probably going to do right here is going to go into here, go direction camera, and I'm going to kind of actually select this. and select these lines right here, I think. The very important side lines right there. And, I mean, we could go loop right there. See how that does. Go into here and just kind of like hold CTRL while you hit box selection and it would just select some of these. CTRL like that. And now we're going to go left right here and we're going to go CTR duplicate and move that right about there for now and what I'm going to actually end up doing is going out of here and kind of move that right here and go into extrude link and what I want to try to do honestly actually I'm going to actually end up moving this a little bit further like this and actually hit duplicate like this and actually move that right about there and actually hold down the scale key like this and move that right about there. I mean we can edit this a little bit later once we're done and go top view so right about here, we're going to put it right about there. And I'm going to show you a new tool today. And this is called, I would say, the actual ruled surface tool, which is we select this and we make sure we're on this right here. And we're going to select a, another vertice like that. And it automatically made a surface like that. So this is a reference image that we're looking at right now. Is this. So like that. So I'm going to move that a little bit like this. Delete that. And just double click to select the entire thing. Go into here and go top view. Go left right here. So like that. And now what I'm going to do is go into here and go like this. And just kind of move that right there. Left. Like 
that. Move that in more right here. that and this is like what does that kind of gives that kind of like edge slide like that like that and that's what we want to try to do is do this slide right here and go into left right here and kind of like that in a way so Go top. I'm just going to two view, left view. Move that right here. Go into here, go rotate. Move this right here. So that's the way I like it right there. So that's pretty good. That's actually good. I think that's gonna, that, that can do right there. And then you're right, I would move that and kind of move that right there, I would say. Just kind of just like, kind of like add a scale right here. I'm actually gonna go in here. Gonna go. Kind of add that right there and kind of add a line right here. And 
I'm kind of just kind of like, kind of go into here and go extract around like that. Okay, so I'm going to go into here. And just kind of like delete that. And that's already deleted. And we're just gonna kind of like That's where the window edge is going to go. Actually, gonna go into here. Select this. Trying to do the best I can. So go in the top. And I'm actually gonna probably put down a polygon.
I'm actually, actually instead, I might just actually put down a circle instead. Just like go into here. And just go move. And just put that right about here. go scale that I'm sure gonna go in here and just move that right about here. Go into edge, and I'm just gonna go into here and gonna kind of scale that down like that. Go scale like this and scale that down right about here. Kinda move that right about here. So now I'm just gonna go into here and go extrude. Scale, move that out, move that like that, and like that. Scale that, I would say. I'm just going to here. 
move along. Scale. Actually gonna go in here. Actually I'm gonna go in here and take this one edge and go dissolve edge like that. Go dissolve. Dissolve right here. And kind of dissolve kind of that so I'm probably gonna go into here and just go in here and just go weld CTRW actually CTR shift shift W Shift W. And we're just going to just go into here and just weld all these functions. I mean, we can add we can add stuff into here down the road. But now I'm just going to go into here and go target weld. And just go into here and just go target. Target weld like that. And we're just going to go into here and kind of add kind of a free constraint. And just kind of just go into here and go. I'm just going to go into here.
So go into here, I think. And I'm just going to go extrude straight through. Move that right about here. Top. So Director's camera. Actually, I'm going to probably put the Y at zero. And now it's able to be edited. So I'm going to move this. Like that. Put the Y at zero, zero, and Just move that out. Right there. And just move this out right about there. And whatever I need to do, I would probably would do that, I would say. So, I would probably go into here. So let's see if, if that's just about right. So I'll just leave it like that probably. To tell you the truth.
Just gonna go loop. Scale. Zero. Zero. And the final step I'm gonna do is going into here and add that 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 Kind of add that. Dissolve. So that's what it looks like so far. So when we go into here, it looks exactly like that. I mean, the only thing we would probably would have to add, honestly, is kind of add like kind of a middle tool and go constrain right here. just going to go into here and just connect this and this is this time this is okay to have three polys because it's this match right here so this time is okay to have that so we're done that one piece right there so I'm trying to see the back of the car Not a very best picture. So that's kind of the back right there. So it's not really a clear picture of the back. But yeah, you kind of see it stops right about here. 
So that's what we're going to want to do is kind of stop that right there. Which I'm probably going to worry about that on a different tutorial. On the next tutorial, we're going to probably work on the bottom side skirt, I would say. And we're going to do the very, very back of this. So I'm not going to really go into that much detail on how this is going to look. It's just the next tutorial is going to be very fast, very straightforward. And the very, very last tutorial, we're going to worry about adding edge creases to some of this mesh right here itself. Pretty much. So that's what we have right there. I mean, we got the entire body already done, ready to be used, I would say. The only thing I'm going to go on to is going to go on to here and just kind of select this and move that more like that. And that's what we have right there, ready to be used. And that's what we would have right there, I would say. So now I'm just going to move this. Like that. Which it looks pretty good, I would say. So, I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but it's still pretty good, I would say. So I guess that's it with this tutorial. I hope you enjoy part six of this tutorial. On part seven, we're going to be going more into detail and finishing the back of this thing like finishing the rest of this side version of this and then we're going to go on to the side skirt of this and in the um, on the on the eighth tutorial we're going to start working on the, the the hood on the car the front hood of the car and then the back hood of the car the the actual back the front basically the front basically top piece that covers the, the top of the car, the top of the car right here. And we're going to be working on the back. 
more on the final piece. And then the very, very final tutorial, we're going to be, and this would be the very final chapter is working on the bumper and all that and all that and working on getting more details into the car itself, like working more on the details of the car itself. And that would be the end of chapter one itself. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope I can help you a, a lot and please subscribe, please give me likes and please mention my tutorial to other people. I hope you enjoy. Space, 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 space